Hi, we are Hive, and you are watching Arambula Live. Hello, everyone. My name is Nikki, host of Arambula Live, and today we are joined by the four members of one of P-Pop's newest groups, Hive. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. Can you please kindly introduce yourselves to all of our viewers and listeners? Together with Hive. Hi, this is Kali. Hi, guys. This is Leanne. Hello, guys. My name is Jules. Hello, guys. I am Sora. Awesome. Hello. So like I said, it's so early in the Philippines right now. It's nine o'clock there. So thank you so much for um, doing this interview with us. First things first, what is the meaning of the name Hive? Uh, hive, um, as it, it is pronounced, it came from Hive, like the beehive. And it also relates to the term Hive Mind, in which there's a group of individuals working towards a common goal. Oh, that's cool. And then your fan base is called Bees. So it's like yes. Beehive, right? Very yes, cool. Their home. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. Uh, okay, so cuento nyo naman the story of what your life was like before the group. So individually, let's start with uh, Sora. Um, my life, especially during the pandemic, I was a streamer. I lived alone, I moved out, and that was my career. I was a streamer and then I taught kids uh, dance classes in our dance studio. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And so I wanted to know each of your individual stories and then we'll get to how the group was formed. Okay. Um, so Jules, go ahead. I was a photographer before and a graphic designer. I do webtoons. Oh, that's cool. Nice. What I do before during the pandemic. Wow. Yeah, that's really cool. I've never met a webtoon artist, so that's really cool. <laughs> I this is Leah. Uh, my life before I was I was doing dance cover, K-pop dance cover in the Philippines. Mm. Uh, the group is called Quincy Kim before, but uh, eventually I've been a part of Hive. Nice, nice. Yeah, so hi, this is Kali. Um, before I started training with Hive, uh, I was a nursing student. I graduated as a nursing. And you, same as Lian, I am a part of a K pop cover group here in the Philippines. Our group is called Teenage. So we, we represented the Philippines in Seoul, South Korea back in 2019 and last year, 2022. And also, same as Sora, we are both coaches in our dance studio before. Yeah, fortunately, I am here as an artist. Wow, that's so awesome. So it's a really, it's really random because I've interviewed a group called Press Hit Play before. So do you guys know them? Because they're also part of um, cover yeah. groups too. Yeah, wow. We're, uh, we're friends with them. Good friends who only with Oh, nice. Yeah, I love them. They're great guys. Um, so how did Hive form? Did you guys have to audition? Um, was there like an open call? So tell me the story about that. Yeah, so yung company po namin, Dream Big Global Entertainment, nag start po sila mag scout ng individuals, young men. So ang una pong naging part ng parang training camp or training na, uh, trainee team is kami po ni Lian. So, seven po kami na trainees before and eventually po nagkaroon ng mga evaluations, nagkaroon ng, um, di naman po parang tanggalan, pero nagkaroon syempre ng po sino mga qualified, ganun. So, um, netong, I think, August, August 2022 po, nag-start po ulit mag-scout yung management namin ng another member for Hive para mabuo po yung four member boy group po. And ayun po, na-scout si, nauna si Sora, kasi nga parang um, good friends kami ni Sora, magka-workmate kami before. So I pitched him sa company and nagustuhan siya sobra ng company, nagustuhan siya ng boss namin, nagustuhan yung talent niya. And yun, hindi uh, naman luckily kasi deserve niya yun. So, uh, <laughs> Uh, nakakatuwa na nakuha siya, then nag-scout ng another vocalist. So nakita si Jules, and 
Ayun. Ayun, nabubuo kami. Uh, saya kami na. Kompleto na kami na. That's so cool. Um, how was it like in the beginning stages of it? I know some of you were friends, but was it awkward? Um, did you get along immediately? Um, marami kami differences eh. Sobrang dami as in. Kumbaga may mga Marvel fan, <laughs> may DC fan, may mga K-pop. Actually, lahat naman kami K-pop fan, pero type of music, especially sa type of music, iba-iba kami. Kumbaga, ako to na more on indie pop or on western pop then sila na more on k-pop may mga calm sounds you know uh yung differences namin parang yun din yung nag parang nagkaroon kami ng bonding eh kasi kumbaga parang ako mismo ang dami kong natutunan sa kanila mm-hmm. and sana naman sa akin marami rin sila natutunan <laughs> common ground so, kumbaga nagkakaroon kami ng common ground nagkakaroon kami ng inside joke dahil sa differences namin so yung awkwardness siguro um Lumipas na lang po. Mga 30 minutes Mga 30 siguro. minutes lang po siguro. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Ang bilis. Mas, That's awesome. Ayun. So, nakakatuwa na yun. Yung mga differences namin, yun talaga yung nag-pulma or nag-pulma ba? Yung nag, parang mighty bond. Ay, sabi ng brand. Nag-bond na lang nag-bond. Nag-bond. Yeah, nag-super, yeah, nag-super blue, blue sa amin. Wow, that's great. Um, okay, so let's talk about your first digital single release, Ala Kulay. Congratulations, guys. I, I've been listening to it and it's so awesome. It's so like it it puts you in a good mood. I mean kulay, right? The the word kulay is like color. So if I'm not mistaken, uh was this written by Kali? Yes, both. Uh, okay, Kali. So please share the story behind Alao Kulai. Yeah, um, Sana wala akong masyado mo spoil, no? <laughs> uh, so, yung Alaw Kulay po kasi, um, it's a song about moving on. So, ako po kasi, as a composer or mismo as a tao, lagi kong ina-associate yung mga bagay-bagay sa kulay. So, kung ano yung nararamdaman natin ngayon, may blue, may green, may pink, may red. Kumbaga, Alaw Kulay straightly means no color. Kumbaga, Alaw, wala, kulay. So, colorless siya. So, um, parang sa relationship kasi natin, minsan, di ba, parang pag nag-start na relationship natin, punong-puno ng passion, punong-puno ng love. So, kulang-kula siya. And pag dumating tayo sa end point na yun, minsan nagiging black kapag sobrang heartbreak tayo. Pero yung, ang, <clears throat> ang kinaibahan kasi nung alaw kula is wala na eh. Kumbaga, end point na talaga siya. No color na. Kumbaga, um, Usually kasi dito sa atin, kumbaga pag mga heartbreak song or song about moving on, lagi malungkot. Mm-hmm. Pero hindi naman po laging ganun yung nararamdaman ng mga tao. Minsan we have to just let them go. And we have to accept the fact that we are not meant to be. And kailangan mas, mas pahalagahan natin kung ano worth natin dito sa mundo. So, um... Ayoko nang mahulog, kumbaga para paulit-ulit yung sa lyrics, ayoko nang mahulog, ayoko nang mahulog, ayoko nang mahulog sa'yo. So, yeah, so it's about moving on and kailangan maging masaya tayo doon. So, kaya naisipan namin na gawin siyang pop song and isayaw na lang natin kung nararamdaman na siya. Yeah, and you guys did it perfectly. Um, I was watching some of your performances at your recent events, but we'll get to that uh, question. But when creating your own music, uh, which artist do you pull musical inspiration from? Um, ako po kasi ma- maka-Disney ako eh. Kumbaga pang, hindi naman laking Disney, pero gusto gusto ko yung mga Disney. So, si Lin-Manuel Miranda po yung... Uh, yeah, he's good. Yung, uh, uh, role model ko when it comes to songwriting. And okay. uh, siguro yung pinaka nililook up ko na tao bukod sa kanya is yung lolo ko. Uh, lolo ko po kasi is director ng unang panahon. So, okay. panahonan nila Fernando ko Jr. ko. So, okay. siguro doon ko rin sa kanya man, naman na yung pagsusulat ko. Okay. So, yeah, dito naman sa P-pop scene, of course, si Pablo. Um, SB19, isa siya. And si JP, nung press hit play. Yeah. So, JP and si Pablo po kasi uh, good friends ko sila. So, isa sila sa parang inspiration ko din. No, good. I like them too. <laughs> Alright, Leanne, what about you? Uh, for me po, more 
on influencing the people on TikTok and are in being for like video of this girl. Think of your mom and just not. I think you like Seventeen, right? Yes, oh yes. Who's your bias? <laughs> Me too. I'm a Seventeen fan. <laughs> Who's your bias? Si Johan, kasi parang parang kanya po both words parang ang ganda at the same time ang babo. Cha ko sobrang tap. Yeah, he's my bias too. Kamo kamo kind of si Johan. Wow. Oh, thanks, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> the people, the people tell you that. Uh, sometimes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Okay, uh, Jules, what about you? Ako pa, I'm heavy influenced by K-pop po. Uh, so my in my. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my inspiration ko po is uh, Big Bang, EXO, and NCT. Oh, okay. Are you gonna see NCT? I think they have a show there today. Uh later po. Uh, oh. I'm going to see Wavy. Uh, fun oh, that's fun. Have fun. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> By yourself. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's a good movie too. <laughs> okay, Sora, what about you? Um, with me, siguro po ako ako po yung pinaka hindi exposed into the k-pop scene and p-pop scene like sila po they had their own groups before so my music taste differed talaga before um ako kasi yung may calming voice or like cold voice so my influences were arthur neri nikki yeah. those um who have music that you can rest habang pinapakinggan so it heavily influenced my singing style and but now, uh, my thing with K-pop, I'm a twice twice fan, by the way. And um, with P-pop, I think SB19 and Alamat really get to me. So yun po. Nice. Yeah, those are really good groups too. I I look up to them in terms of artistry, especially Alamat, who is like you know they're so different um, with their music and their style. Um, okay, so like I said earlier, you guys did Peepopcom, Peepop Fest, Wish Bus, uh, World Bazaar Festival over the past few months. Um, what was the most memorable event? Hello, mga magkasalo sa organ um, pwede po ba isa isa na lang kami? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Uh, siguro ako po is um, Peepop.com kasi um, made by the fans siya. So, supporters yung gumawa. And nakaka-touch kasi ganun yung pagmamahal nila sa industriya, sa Peepop and sa mga bagong grupo. So, siguro yun yung pinaka-memorable sa akin na dadaling ko abang buhay kasi ginawa nila nagawa nila yon kumbaga for the love of k-pop and it was so successful so yeah. thank you to all of the people who put on that event it was it was really great all right yes well siguro po sa akin um k-pop kung rin po kasi sobrang ang gaan lang po sa pakiramdam ng ginagawa nila and they they also do this for the fans too kaya sobrang at saka po, as a K-pop artist na rin po, parang sobrang welcome po kami talaga in sa event na rin. And mm -hmm. we also get to meet other K-pop artists rin po. Kaya sobrang memorable rin po sa akin. Uh, sa akin po, uh, dalawa siya. Yung K-pop com and K-pop fest. Because we did the both events. One nga lang eh. In one day. It was <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was okay. It was okay. Yung dalawang event po na yun, uh, same day po siya nangyari sa amin. Uh -huh. uh, performance po namin parehas. So, para siyang core memory sa amin na uh, we, did, we did that event uh, simultaneously. Kaya ayun po. <laughs> Sobrang sarap po sa puso na mag-perform ng dalawang event na parehas inaano po yung K-pop culture sa Philippines. For me, it would be K-pop test because we were like the rookie group among the greats or those established already and to share the stage with them to open the event for them 
it was really an honor and we met them actually backstage and we didn't get treated differently so parang they were so welcoming and so open and so friendly and that was really a memorable night for us yes bro. shout out to the some organizers yes yep. That's what I love about P-pop. It's that, um, you know, that like you said, Sora, the established groups already welcome the rookie groups like you guys. And they're just so nice, so welcoming, so kind. Um, and it's kind of rare to see that diva in different genres of music to be so, so nice. You guys are already part of the family. Um, so Hive, as Hive, you guys kind of got lucky because you debuted during, I mean, we're still in the pandemic, diva, but it's kind of, it's a lot better than you know what it was in 2022 uh 2020 2021 when a lot of the other p-pop groups debuted um so i'm sure you guys are thankful for in person face to face events have there have there been any interesting fan encounters um so from dami ko eh lalo especially sa every event sa bis kumbaga parang um sobrang nakakatuwa yung bis kasi Yan. Alam mo yun, nakapagod eh. Minsan, minsan nga po na katotoo lang nag-usap-usap kami. Parang um, thankful kami, sobrang grateful kami sa support nila. Pero ang tatanong kami pa, bakit? Kung baga parang uh, galing kami dito sa isang event, bagbiyay kami papunta sa kabilang event. Tapos magkikita ulit kami doon. Kung baga nandun sila agad, nauna sila sa artist. So parang grabe yung passion nila, yung dedication nila to support us. Um, sa akin po, Ang hirap magbilang kung ano yung pinaka memorable na encounters ko with them. Pero para sa akin kasi bawat encounters sa kanila sobrang special. Eh. Mm -hmm. I think one memorable story for me is when I performed tayo sa Batangas. Ah, oh. Oh. We had a performance in Batangas. So, in theory, no one could be able to make it or like it was too far so it was a private event during our pre-debut stage and christmas or new year christmas christmas wow. day christmas, christmas day oh, wow. and we had bees who went to us wow so they traveled yeah they traveled yeah and they spent the holiday with us and which is fun. Oh. So ang nakakatuwa po kasi ang nakakatuwa siya at the same time parang nakakasad kasi we asked them kung saan kayo mag stay Hindi parang nila po sure. Kumbaga nagpunta na lang sila sa event tapos parang as Pasko pa. So yung iba kasi di ba parang sobrang special na nakailangan um, i-share natin yun with our family. And kami naman ginagawa namin yun is nag-work kami doon so sila na parang Alam mo yun? Dinedicate yung time. Nakakatawa, nakakatawa sobra. Shout out dun sa mga bees na nandun. Forever grateful of you. Oh, that, that, that is so special. Even on Christmas, they're supporting you guys like that in person. Uh, what about you, Jules and Leanne? Uh, sa akin po, siguro yung sa wish bus. Kasi sobrang grabe po yung... Uh, yung fans doon sa amin. Like, may mga pa-carpooling pa po sila. Parang <laughs> po sila sa buong bus nung wish. Wow. So, parang ako, totoo ba to? Parang fantasy po yung nangyayari po sa amin. <laughs> ako po, parang actually, gaya po na sabi ni Kurt, parang almost every event din po, parang nakakagalaro po ng loob na makita sila sa mga support sa amin. Kaya yun po. Oh. Parang, Nice. Shout out to the bees. Thank you guys Shout so much. Thank you. I love you guys all. Kikita na tayo soon malapit na. There. Um, so speaking of the fans, we asked your fans for some questions to ask you guys. So um, we have, I think, five or six. But every time I say a name, can you just give them a shout out? Yes, of course. Okay. So the first one is named Isabel. So please say hello to Isabel. Hi, Hi Isabel. Isabel. Yes. Okay. So Isabel wants to know if you could describe yourself in three words, what would they be? Individual. Yes. Three words. Three words. Yeah, I'm going to go with cool, 
from and on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, kind. <laughs> Why did you laugh? Is he not <laughs> kind? Uh, flexible and great. Okay. Mm, attentive, funny. Uh, <laughs> responsible. Hey. Um, one three word pool, no? Three words, yes. Leader, rapper, composer. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> All right. So the next one is from Sukiko. Please say hello to Sukiko. Hello, Hi, Sukiko. What is up? <laughs> okay. Sukiko so wants to know, what do you want to say to the person on your right? So let's start with Sora, and then we'll go around like that, and then Callie go to Sora. Do your best. Okay. Always choose kindness. <laughs> <laughs> Great leadership. Ano ba yung reminder ba yun? Oo, oh, sinasabi mo sa akin yun talaga. Um, choose your right. <laughs> Love you, bro. Uy! Aww, cute. Can I ask, sino yung kuya and sino yung bunso? Like, what is, like, the age? Like, I'm not gonna ask your age, but, like, who's uh the oldest? I am the kuya. Okay. Siya si bunso. So, and then who's older between uh Kali and Jules? Jules. Okay. Uh, cool. Okay. So this next person, uh, she doesn't want to be revealed for some reason. She said, please don't put my name. So shout out to Lanamen, Caitlin, Kathy, <laughs> Alam, Alam, Alam. <laughs> All right. So this this uh invisible person, wherever they are, their question is, what is your comfort food when you're stressed? Strawberry ice cream. Vanilla ice cream. Oh, okay. Ice cream. Pizza. <laughs> 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 All right, the next one is from Chi. Say hello to Chi. Hello, hello Chi. Chi. Um, Chi wants to know what kind of music can we expect from you guys in the future? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Without spoiling anything, uh -huh. I... <laughs> I feel like I'm going to ask you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> go ahead, Kelly. Um, okay. After Hello Kula, we're gonna release our ballad song. It's Tanao. Oh. And um, so far, sa ngayon, yung after ng Tanao, meron sila i-expect sa amin na bago. Hindi siya katunog ng Hello Kula, hindi rin siya katunog ng Tanao. Pero it's a new tone. New tone means new color and new, new sound. Yeah. Wow. Uh, na lang yung um parang hint. hint namin. It's a new tone, new color and new sound. So, kana okay. nila yung pinagawa namin, and we are doing our best para sa kanila and of course para sa amin and para serve sa pipap, sa pipap right sa what goes into your every day? Like, do you guys practice all day? Is it dance in the morning, tapos singing in the afternoon? What is a day in the life of Hive? <laughs> Actually, it differs when we have an event or not. Mm -hmm. When we have an event, it's usually a mix of vocals <laughs> and dance. Like, those happen simultaneously. But when we have more free time, we dedicate one day for dance, one day for vocals, so it's alternating until okay. there is um like a need to record a need to shoot okay. something content but it varies so sa ano po kasi para sa isang kaka-debut lang na grupo sobrang halo-halo yung nangyayari kumbaga parang we are building our social media we are building our character binibuild namin yung brand namin so nagre-record kami ngayon tapos bukas nagsi-shoot kami ng ganito so, sunod na araw, pupunta kami sa isang 
um, event. Kumbaga parang um, wala kami, wala pa kami sa ngayong fix na routine na o oh, Monday to Friday ganito tayo, rest day tayo ng ganito. Kumbaga parang actually yung rest day nga po namin parang nagugulat na lang kami na oh, sige bukas rest day. Kumbaga parang ang usip lang namin ngayon. Kumbaga isip namin ngayon is work, work, work kasi nagsisimula pa lang kami and wala kaming time to stop. Mm-hmm. That makes it exciting though, right? Um, every day, iba yung schedule. So it's it's something new. Um, okay, so the last one is from Lynn. Uh, please say hello to Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Lynn. Kamusta ka? Kano kumain ka <laughs> So Lynn wants to know, what is the ultimate goal for the group? It's kind of a deep question, huh? <laughs> um, sa ngayon kasi of course dun tayo sa makilala yung grupo nationwide so mapakinggan yung music namin nationwide and of course maging part ng movement na tinatawag natin na Peep Up Rise matulungan yung industriya dito sa atin sa Pilipinas kasi sobrang laki ng potential ng music ang Pilipino and gusto rin namin maging matulungan kumbaga yung kung sino yung mga nagsimula um, SB19 paved the way and um, dito sa aming mga rookie groups uh, it's time for us naman to move kumbaga it's time for us na ituloy kung ano yung nasimula ng mga nauna sa amin so yun yung number one goal namin na una makilala kami dito sa bansa natin and kasusunod na siguro yung world there you go what is your dream stage like or event because you know when i interview a lot of groups they say um you know like a music festival like coachella or something like 88 rising head in the clouds what about you guys what's your dream stage my dream stage is Times square oh like for new year's eve oh that's cool okay that's different you would super bowl Whoa! <laughs> wow! Yeah, that one's good. Oh, po, What was it? Sorry. Is it ano? Any po in para any po para? Wala kong dream stage. Pero pero sure gusto ng perfect. Thankful lang siya. That's good. <laughs> okay, Kelly, go ahead. Siguro um pag hindi organized ng team. Kumbaga, kung makukuha man kami ng isang organizer, syempre yung ATA Tricing Head in the Clouds. Pero if organized ng team, gusto ko pag solo concert kami sa Tokyo Dome. So parang pag nagawa kasi namin na kapag Tokyo Dome kami, it means ganun na kami kalaki. Kumbaga, parang ganun na kalaking grupo, yung influence namin ganun na kalaki. And yun, yung dream stage ko na hopefully uh, makuha na natin. No? Makuha natin. You will. Let's manifest all of your dreams and goals. <laughs> so I love asking groups this question because the answers are always interesting. So if you were able to do your own music video, you had no budget, you can film anywhere in the world, and you know everything is um, like you can do whatever you want. What kind of concept would you do? Simulan natin sa bansa Concept wise, I'll go first. Uh, okay. I would like to try a dystopian concept. Like, yung mga. Ano ba? Yung mga. Or sci fi ganun. Mm-hmm. Aliens. Um, <laughs> not exactly aliens. No. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So. <laughs> um. I think my country would be Japan. Yes, Japan, because it's really a very geeky, nerdy, cultural country. So it's um, really easy to find an inspiration or like a good um, location to shoot. The concept, I'm not really sure, but I would like to really dig deep into their culture and technology. It's going to be like, how they were and how they are now so that's i think oh that's the concept i'm thinking yeah that's cool like a flashback that was like uh in between clips of that that's cool okay um ako naman po siguro 
parang kung wala po kami iniisip na limit sa budget. Uh, one sa lang talaga yung naiisip ko eh. Kung baga when it comes to concept, depende rin po kasi sa song yun. So, ako gusto ko talaga mga pag-shoot sa Japan. So, same as Sora. Pero, pwede ba tayong ano, kung baga, kung sa music prod po siguro, huwag sa music video, parang gusto kong makatrabaho si, si G-Dragon ko. So, kung walang walang limitation yung pangarap eh gusto ko siya makatrabaho and of course si Mr. Lin Manuel Miranda na uh, makatrabaho siya sa isang song for hire din po. So, yeah. Nice. Uh, sa akin naman po ay uh, sa akin wala po may isip na bansa kasi lahat po sila magaganda. Ang may isip po kasi ng concept is more on futuristic side po kasi uh, this Ano na po kasi yung era po natin, para mag for on technology na rin po kasi. Kaya yun, hindi ko yung naisip ko yung concept. Parang XG. <laughs> o parang gano'n. XG on! XG. They look like AI characters, ha? Huh? They're so pretty. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so we want to play a game with you guys, if you're down for this. It's called uh, The Last. So are you ready? The last. Okay, so I'm gonna ask the question and hopefully each of you have an answer for it. Okay. Uh the first one is the last movie that you watched. John Wick. John Wick. Fractured. Yung sa akin po hindi ko maalala yung movie, pero yung series is Modern Family. Oh, okay, the show. This is the show. Yeah. Okay. And okay, the next one is the last member to arrive to practice. Sabay, sabay po kami. Okay, okay. okay, go ahead. Kung may answer. Five, six, seven, eight. Lian. <laughs> Lian, why are you always late to practice? What's the reason? Sometimes for me, school stuff. Oh, you're still in school. Oh, what are you studying, Lian? If I can ask. Dentistry for dentistry. Oh, that's cool. Different. All right. Uh, the next one is the last text message that you received. Can you check our phones? I received your Angkas booking. <laughs> okay. I'm on my SIM career. Sa akin po is 1998. Sa akin po, ano? Hi, boss. Good evening. Dito na po ako. Delivery po. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, when was the last time you cried? A long, long time ago, like last year, pa yata. Siguro got watery eyes when I saw my parents watching me on oh. stage. Uh-huh. So, last, how oh, last two years? <laughs> Two minutes ago. <laughs> ako po parang last week. Last week. Ah, uh, dahil sa uh, ano stress yun. Yeah. All right. Um, the last time you felt kilig. <laughs> um, our last event, Pop Com and Pop Fest. They yeah, were very mm-hmm. killing by the support of the fans and the bees and the community. The community. All Opo, right. Last night, yung may natapos ako song, so Ooh. parang nakikinilig po ako dun po. Oh, exclusive. Callie's sharing an exclusive. <laughs> 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 um, okay, what about you, Leanne? As a fan, I Recent All right, um, Jules, you were also the same answer. <laughs> okay, um, the last group member you shared a secret with. Kali. 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 Okay, Kali. What about you? <laughs> uh. Si Sora. Si Sora po. Kasi last night magkasama kami. So parang may ma- nagkwentuhan lang po kami. Um, so do you guys all dorm together? Like you all live together? 
Yes, but ideally. Are you? Who are the roommates? Because I know the bees want to know all this stuff. Who are the roommates? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then yeah. um, the the, the bunsos are the roommates. Yes, po. Oh. Balik kami kailo po as tinilian. Ah, uh, parang hindi po kami lagi ng dito. Mm-hmm. Once a week or twice a week, then lang po kami. Oh, that's right. I'm school tinilian, and ako po kasi um medyo personal so parang may mga kailangan po kong gawin lagi sa bahay kaya mm-hmm. uwi po ako pero dyan lang po yung bahay namin <laughs> <laughs> kaya po nakakagam <laughs> po ako ng management na umuwi pero almost everyday naman po maglakas ayan po kumbaga parang uwi lang po ako pag ano pag matutulog kayo yung dalawa pa boy sulog na kayo ha o kantahan ba kayo ni kuya <laughs> Magtulog na po sila, alis na rin po. Pagising po nila, nagluluto na ako ng alin. Ang oh. uh, <laughs> bayat naman. The joke lang po. Ako po, yung hindi, ako po talaga yung hindi maasahan sa kondo. <laughs> okay, the next one is uh, the last photo in your camera roll. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! It's not a photo, but video po, uh, from P-Pop Fest. Oh, P-Pop Fest. Yeah. No, you don't, have to, you don't have to share it, but if you want to, go ahead. Is that a Starbucks drink? What's their Starbucks order, Kelly? Um, white caramel mocha. I white chocolate mocha. Oh, me too. Nice. This one. Peapot Fest. Oh, oh that's yeah. a good shot. With Alamat <laughs> and Cheap 20. Nice. Go. Sa akin po yung Peapot. Picture niya po. I can edit po kasi ako. Oh, wow. Is that like a, like a, what is it? Those, um, the fan base, they, they do like individual shots. Okay, cool. Oh, Sora, what was yours? Sorry. <laughs> I saw uh, that you showed it earlier. Picture of food from Popeyes with friends. Last oh, night, actually. Nice. Nice. Okay, so the last one is the last thing you searched on Google. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Wait, it's loading. John Wick ending. <laughs> but this is after you watch the movie or before? Before. Oh. <laughs> I like spoiling myself. Me too. <laughs> uh, I'm searching for sunglasses. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> ako po ano um drink smoke lyrics by Felip so um kinakanta ko po kasi siya ni kanina umaga so oh, didn't I think you went to his show was it last night or the other night diba sorry I was on I was looking at your Instagram yeah, pages Friday night, okay. Friday night po nagpunta kami nice. Nice. Sure, did yeah. you guys get to meet Pablo Ah, oh, I want to see. <laughs> nice. I love that. Oh, uh, VIP room nila. Oh. And, uh, like, cool. Um, but ng SB19, I got to meet them when they came to LA and I'm a big 18, so um I was happy to know that they're really nice in real life too. <laughs> Somebody. Yeah. Um, okay, so shout out to the bees who are always supportive. Throughout the interview, you guys said how much you love them. But uh, individually, do you have a message that you would like to say to them? Um, hey, what is up? This is your leader, Kali. Um, thank you so much for always supporting the group. Um, I'm sometimes a little tired and sometimes we are tired. Sometimes we are tired because hindi ako namin ka nakikita. Pero sana nandyan lang kayo palagi kasi nakikita-kita tayo. Sobrang lapit na soon. And nagkatrabaho kami maigi para masatisfy kayo sa gusto ninyo makita sa amin. Yun, alam niyo naman na mahal ko kayo. Lagi niyo alaga yung mga sarili ninyo. Huwag na huwag kayo magpupuyat. Kasi minsan po kasi magtitweet ako ng madaling araw tapos may, 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 may gising pa sa kanila. Yeah. Alam ko mali rin po yung ginagawa ko ng pupuyat ako, pero kayo huwag yung pupuyat. Hi guys, this is Lian. Uh, 
So, ang sabihin sa mga dudes, uh, alagaan niya rin yung health ko kasi yun, nag-live ako ng madaling araw. Nakikita ko mga gising rin po yung mga bees. So, ayun lang po. So, alagaan niya rin po yung health niya and, and stay safe. Magkikita-kita rin po tayo. So, yeah. Hi, bees. Uh, thank you, thank you for the support. Ayan. Kahit sa kami magpunta, nandun kayo lang. We appreciate you each, every day. Kaya sana alagaan niyo yung sarili niyo. Stay safe and stay there. Hello, Bees. Um, as you all know, hindi naman ako K-pop or P-pop person before. So I'm very lucky na kayo yung naging fanbase namin kasi I didn't know it was like this. Parang people could be so supportive and so loving and so caring. And yun, sobrang swerte namin with you guys and hindi namin kayo bibigoy. Kali Heart, please, please, pakiaral na tong Kali Heart kasi it's been months and wala pa ako nakikita ng gumagawa na ito. <laughs> Next event, they're gonna do it for you. <laughs> Kira po kasi nila kaya. Ito pa kaya niya? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm just, I can't do it. I can't, I'm not, I'm not like that. No, I'm not flexible. Um, thank you so much, Hive. Uh, to all of you guys watching, please go listen to Ala Kulai. It's now on music streaming platforms uh, worldwide. So please go download that and listen to it. Can you guys please share your social media handles so that everyone can follow you? So you can follow us at Hive underscore official, Hive underscore Sora, Hive underscore Jules, Hive underscore Lian and Hive underscore Kali on all platforms. Yes, uh, yun, um, gaya po na sabi ni Miss Nikki, this is stream Alaw Kulay, um, and we, music video will be out very, very soon. So, yeah, abangan nyo lang siya, and please keep on streaming, and um, hold nyo rin po kami sa mga charts para papakinggan na ibang tao yung song namin. And marami pa kaya abangan sa amin, and nagsisimula po lang siya. Yes, you guys are so fresh and so new. So I'm excited for your entire journey in the music industry. Um, I'm excited for the music video too. So uh, I'll wait for that. Thank you, Hive. It was fun. I hope oh, you guys had oh, fun too. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, sana rin kayo rin po nag-enjoy sa pag-usap sa amin. And sana maulit. Yes, hopefully when I go to the Philippines this year, I'm planning on going. So I'll, I'll hopefully we get to meet in person. <laughs> <laughs> Sure po. Thank you so much. Thank you so much po. Ingat po kayo dyan. Thank you.